UK comic book fans and welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video. Right, I'm very excited. So a couple of days ago, the first trailer for the Sandman Netflix series dropped and I really loved it. It was great. Um, I'm going to put a link uh, below to the trailer if you haven't seen it. It's uh, quite short, but uh, what I really liked about it was a couple of things. Firstly, it was a real... Um, true um, interpretation of uh, the first um, first part of the first Sandman comic almost word for word uh, not only that but uh, we got Charles Dance as uh, the occultist Roderick Burgess and what was even better was we saw um, Dream and wow, he looked great, just as I would imagine Sandman looks, and actually looks quite a lot like a young Neil Gaiman. So what I'm going to do over the next few uh, weeks and months, I'm going to go through, um, I think the television series is going to be 20 episodes, uh, which will see us through the, um, what are called Preludes and Nocturnes, uh, Doll's House, and then some standalone stories. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a number of videos. I'm going to talk about each of the uh, comics. I'm going to talk about some of the characters uh, in the comics. And I'm going to talk about uh, the actors um, who are going to portray these characters. Right, so um, we start. For those of you who are unaware, um, the Sandman is, uh, was a comic. Uh, created by uh, Neil Gaiman um, back in, I think it was uh, 1989 it started um, and it ran for 75 issues um, and finished in uh, 1996. Um, I actually uh, picked this up right from the start of the run because uh, I was a fan of Neil Gaiman and each issue was an absolute cracker. Um, and I picked up all 75 issues as they came out. And it was uh, always the first comic on my reading list. Um, the uh, It's described as a dark fantasy. Um, and uh, in, this, in this comic, uh, Neil Gaiman does what he does a lot of times, which is... Uh, he anthropologizes a number of characters. Um, so uh, we have the main character in The Sandman is uh, Morpheus, uh, the king of the dreamland. Um, and he gets, uh, he appears as a character. And he is one, I think there's seven of them, called The Endless, um, who we will meet during the course of The Sandman series. But I'm only going to introduce them to you when they are introduced in the comics. So the first comic um, in the series, and it is has to be one of the most brilliant, brilliantly structured and written comics of all time. I've just reread it. Um, it really is terrific. And if you haven't read it, um, you can find copies. There's there's um, graphic novels and you can and reprints and you can pick up a copy for reading quite cheaply obviously Sandman number one is now a relatively expensive comic in high condition um, I've actually got two <laughs> that I bought from new uh, so this is the first one um, Sandman number one and uh, what characters uh, do we encounter in this well we start off with um, an occultist, um, I think we're in something like 1930s or something, and um, his name is uh, Roderick Burgess, um, and uh, in the clip, if you watch the trailer, he is being played by Charles Dance, a great bit of casting. So Roderick Burgess is a... Uh, is a renowned occultist. He runs his own cult um, and he cons um, a librarian um, at the British Library to steal an occultist book for him which tells him how to capture and imprison death. 
Um, so he runs a uh, he runs a ritual to capture death uh, with his mates <laughs> and and his son um, who makes an appearance uh, throughout this called Alex Burgess um, who's quite young when this uh, ceremony takes place anyway they run this ceremony uh, but it goes a bit wrong in that they don't capture death they capture dream um, when they capture him uh, they take away three objects of power that he has with him one is a bag of sand um, special sandman sand they take away his mask his special mask and they take away his ruby which uh, he has um, empowered with his own spirit and being um, and then they um, they have him trapped um, and powerless um, and during episode one he uh, largely remains trapped and powerless until right at the end of the comic we also see during this uh, during this uh, first comic which I presume is going to be the first episode um, of the uh, of the series we also see some of the people that are affected by the fact that dream is now uh, captured uh, and probably the most important one is a young lady called uh, unity Kincaid um, who effectively um, at the start of this she's very young um, and she falls into a very very deep sleep similar to a coma so worth remembering unity Kincaid um, because she becomes uh, quite important in some of the later issues so those are the key characters that we get in um, the first uh, issue of uh, the Sandman um, at the end of the he, they held they hold him captive for many years Roderick Burgess dies frustrated at capturing this uh, endless has not delivered him more power or immortality his son Alex then takes over the imprisonment of um, of uh, the Sandman um, also uh, there's a bit of schism in the um, in the cult and uh, the number two of the cult and Roderick Burgess's um, uh, what should we call her uh, your lady friend abscond and take with them the three objects of power from the Sandman so um, at the end of the comic Sandman waits patiently I think it's something like 60 odd years maybe 70 years um, then uh, he manages at last to get one of the guards to fall asleep and he escapes okay and so we end the first episode um, so um, I hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am um, I will be releasing more videos about Sandman um, talking about the characters that appear in each of the comics and potentially each of the episodes of the upcoming series okay thanks comic book fans enough said